Hello friends, this video on Amines part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So I have to convert nitromethane to dimethyl amine. So I have this nitromethane to dimethyl amine. to convert this so first NO2 to I have to convert to NH2 that is pretty easy I have this NO2 I can just react with SN and HCl this, this becomes CH3 NH2 so now one hydrogen I have to replace with one CH3 I can react this guy with CH3Cl so what will happen is CH3 and CH3H this HCl will come out that is the easy reaction Correct, I can do this. The next is I have to convert propanoic acid to ethanoic acid. So we have seen ethanoic to propanoic. Now I have a propanoic acid. I have to convert into ethanoic acid. So to remove one carbon, I know one reaction where I have CONH2 form. It gives RNH2, right? It is half pended reaction so i have to first convert into conh2 form because i have to reduce one carbon let's try what happens so let's convert into conh2 form how can we do this if i react this acid with nh3 excess what will happen is i'll get nh2 so once i have this form i can just use this bromine water and koh the Hoffman reaction to remove the CO part what I'll get is NH2 now from this I have to form this acid carbon is same number of carbon is same so first I can convert this into alcohol how can I convert this to alcohol I have to first make a diazonium salt by reacting with NONO2 and HCl what I get is N2 plus Cl minus this is very unstable I'll react with water little bit water and warm it up what I get is alcohol once I have alcohol I can do oxidation KMnO4 in acidic or basic medium your wish I'll get this acid ethanoic acid that's what I was looking for so I had propanoic acid I convert into CONH2 form I use this Hoffman reaction to remove the CO part once I have CO part removed but I have NH2 here I have to convert into OH the best is create diazonium salt and react with a little bit of water and warm it up a little bit you get this alcohol and then you oxidize it to give, make it ethanoic acid the next is nitrobenzene to benzoic acid so I have a nitrobenzene here I have to convert into benzoic acid okay so here if you see you are actually adding a carbon Right? If you have 6 carbon, here you have 7 carbon. Correct? So we have to first add a carbon. That is, we have to add CN here. We have to replace NH, NO2 with CN. How can we do it? So we have seen that we can actually, if I get N2Cl form, the diazonium salt, I can easily bring CN here. So let's convert this into what diazonium to convert it diazonium the first thing I have to do is I have to convert this into NH2 form so let's convert this into NH2 form or you can pause this video and try to do it on your own convert this into NH2 and then diazonium then you do CN and then do oxidation right so if you see this is my NO2 I have to convert this into NH2 so what I'll do I'll use this hydrogen and the palladium catalyst or in the presence of ethanol I'll get NH2 so once I have NH2 I can convert into diazonium salt very easily NaNO2 and HCl almost 0 to 5 degrees Celsius what I'll get is this compound this I have got introducing <coughs> uh, CN is very easy react with CuCN in the presence of KCN or only copper with HCN dry cover with a CN so you'll get CN here so once I have CN here I can just 
do hydrolysis. What you will get is COH. Correct? So benzene to M bromophenol. This is my benzene. Beta bromophenols. There's a little trick here. See if we use if you just convert this to phenol first, then bromine will not be added in the meta position. I have to add something which is meta dietic group. For example, NO2 is a meta dietic group. So first I have to make it nitrobenzene and then add bromine at a meta position and then convert this NO2 to phenol. OH actually. So let's see this because I need at a bromo position, uh, sorry, meta position this bromine. So first convert this into nitrobenzene. Very easy. HNO3 in presence of some sulfuric acid. Nitration. What will happen? You get this nitrobenzene. And then here getting bromo is at meta position is very easily. Just react with bromine. What you get it majority of the product will be at this. Now once you have this, my challenge is to convert this into OH. I can't convert NO2 to OH but I can convert if it is NH2. So what I can do is I can react with this NHCl. I will get this NH2 here. So once I have NH2, I have to make it OH. The solution is diazonium salt. React with NaNA2 and HCl, what will happen is it will form instead of NH2, we will get N2Cl and here I will get Br. Now I have to make it OH. The only thing you do is you do react with water a little bit and warm it up. So what you get is OH here and Br here will be intact. And that is what you get. This is the solution. So benzoic acid to aniline. I have my benzoic acid to aniline. So if you see here, one carbon is less. So if you reduce one carbon, you have to convert this into CONH2 form and then you can subtract the CO by Hoffman reaction. So let's convert this into CONH2 form first. So I have my COOH form. To convert into CONH2, first I have to convert into COCl form, right? Then only I can add NH3 to it. So let's convert into, let's react with SOCl2 or PCl5 or PCl3, whatever you want. This is COCl. Now since I have Cl, I can react with NH3. So NH3 will do what? This NH2 will uh, replace this chlorine. So I'll get NH2. Once I have the CONH2, I can react with bromine and NaOH that Hoffman reaction. CO will go off and I'll get NH2. That is all. Right? Benzoic acid to aniline. Next try aniline to 246 tribromofluorobenzene. So this is my aniline. I have to convert this to Tribromofluorobenzene, there's a fluorine in the hair, and at two position, three, four position, six position, I have, I have bromo, bromo here, bromo here. So I have to convert from this to this. See, adding bromine is pretty easy for this. I have my NH2 here. I can just add bromine here bromine water. So what will happen is it will add bromine in these position. This is pretty easy. The challenge is to convert this bromine to fluorine. And how can we do is if we using diazonium. We have seen that using diazonium we can introduce fluorine to a aromatic ring. So let's convert to a diazonium salt NaNO2 NHCl you react. You get this diazonium salt here. Correct, and then you react with HBF4. So what you get is 
n2 b f4 minus with all this bromine here correct you just heat it little bit so what will happen is nitrogen will go off and bf3 will also go off only fluorine will remain here so we have seen this kind of reactions i have fluorine here and all this bromine will be retained here so thus i got my output correct thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching